Hey there, AJ, your SimScope's Math Account Manager here. I wanted to show you real quick how to enable the text-to-speech or the screen reading capabilities in a student account. So I'm logged in right now on this screen to a sample student account to which I have assigned the kindergarten pre-assessment from our benchmark system. And um, so you can see the first question here, we're gonna have to read, be able to read how many fish do you see? Uh, to turn on the um, screen reading feature, the student has a toolbar at the top of uh, his or her page and you want to look for the little speech bubble and just toggle that on and now I have the ability to have any of the text sections read to me. I'll just click the play button. How many fish do you see? And Two, three, four. It's read it all to me. I can select my answer and move on to the next question. So this the play button will be enabled as long as this speech bubble is turned on for students. There is also um, inside a student's account. There are also some accessibility settings up here at the top. So you just look for the student's name and then from the drop down choose accessibility settings. And from this page, you can actually control several different things that are helpful for students, like the, the type of font, the font size, um, light and dark mode, things like that. But I wanna show you here, the speaking rate is something you can turn on for students. And so regular is by default, we recommend that. You can have it slowed down or sped up. Um, whatever setting you apply here will um, be sticky and apply to this the single student who you're logged in as. So you need to, if you want to adjust this, you log in as the student or log in with the student, you make the adjustment and then those settings remain um, default for that student from that point forward. You also have the ability to highlight spoken words. And this is, uh, I'll show you how this works and then you'll, you'll see, um, you may have some students that this is important to do for. Um, but if you turn that on, it does slow down the reading significantly, but it also highlights each word as it's read. So I'll show you a quick demo of that. What do you want to do with your... So you get an idea of how that works. And then if I wanted to leave that setting active, I would just hit update accessibility settings and go from there. But I'm going to um, leave this one alone for now. So that is uh, all you need to know about student sound in the student account. So thanks for watching.